PUBG has just released a load of new images and footage of the new Vikendi Reborn map, and we're going to have a look through all of that in this quick video today. Vikendi Reborn is going out on PUBG PC on the 6th of December, and whilst we don't have an official date for console yet, it's probably fair to assume that it will be a week after like it normally is. So today we have the map to look at for Vikendi. We also have some video footage of each of these main highlighted areas, and we're going to look through all of those things today. First up, we have the new map, and this has been sort of loosely confirmed through some slightly cryptic tweets on Twitter by PUBG that this is going to be an 8x8 map. There's also a lot less water around the edge, and it takes on a full island shape. So a lot of land on this map. It's going to be similar in landmass, you'd say, to Erangel. Previously, the map was a 6x6, so pretty significant change there. We're going to zoom right in and move down the map and look at the, each of the different areas, and then we'll go into the video footage as well. We can see in the north, we've got Cosmodrome in the far northeast, the observatory in the north, and then the coal mine up in the northwest. Obviously, big movements there. Coal mine going to be quite different to how it was before. Previously, it was in this sort of central north position. We can see in the middle here, we've got some different towns. Leveni, Naros, Dinoland, which is now sort of midwest on the map. Uh, the villa is now over on the east hand side. And then we in the sort of near the middle, we have train station It's going to be probably the most central drop location. Off to the west a little bit here, we have the lumberyard. And then moving further down, we have Deca Mesto in the center. The winery still makes an appearance down in the southwest, as well as Pavilka and Naznova on the far west coast. Over on the east side here, we've got Tricker, which has a mark in it. We'll show some video footage of that in a sec. Castle is still here, surrounded by some ice, but it doesn't seem to have the huge ice river going off it this time. Down in the southeast here, we have Kranich, which has a bit of a lake going on. We have some video of that we're going to have a look at. And then all the way down in the southeast corner, we have this unmarked location, which looks to be some sort of comeback BR type thing. We don't have any information on what that's going to be yet. It could be exactly like the Tago comeback, BR, which I think is kind of weak, but I guess better than nothing. I'm hoping they've made some changes to make it a bit better, make it so you can go into it more quickly. You don't have to wait for 10 minutes. So you actually maybe have to fight and then just come straight back or something like that. So hopefully they've made some tweaks there, but this is what looks very likely to be a comeback BR arena. You've got this big cliff blocking the view of it from the mainland. And then this little area down here, this island that you presumably have to, to go into fight on or survive on to be able to get yourself back into the game once you've been killed. So we also have some video clips here that were posted on the PUBG Instagram page, and we're going to have a little look through those now. So these videos perspectives are basically where these blue pins are on the map. So the first one here is kind of in the northwest near the coal mine area, although you don't really see uh, the coal mine in these shots. You can see from here, there is quite a big sort of ice river like there was before. It looks a bit like the area that used to be down near the castle. You can see in the bottom right corner, we've got like a little kind of out research outpost or something, which looks like an interesting area. And you can also see the cable car at the bottom here, as well as cable car lines up in the sort of top right hand corner here as well. That looks like a little cable car station. And again, right at the top, you can see a cable car line uh, right along the top of the screen there. The cable cars we're going to see some video of in a minute, they are moving cable cars and it very much looks like you can get on them. Looks like that's going to be an alternative instead of the trains uh, that we previously had, which hopefully should be quite a lot quieter than the trains that would completely deafen you. So here you can see the cable car moving along the bottom of the screen there. So our next video clip is taken from the center of the observatory right in the center north of the map. You can see we've got the cable car going along the top here. Looks like that just goes around most of the map, does a big loop, maybe a couple of big loops. Uh, you can see there's another observatory on some ice right on the top left there. There's kind of an ice shelf going onto the coast. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Bit of a glacier type thing. And then uh, an observatory up there. This is the main observatory, which looks like quite a big compound uh, in this sort of north central position. Again, you can see the cable car just moving slowly along the rails there. Over in the northeast, we have the Cosmodrome. Some elements quite similar, the big building and the rocket, similar to how they were before. And these buildings just kind of to the south of it. But a lot of the other stuff is, is quite different. These two hangars were kind of here before. These two at the back, I believe, are new. And this helipad wasn't there before. 
some of these warehouses at the, the left hand side here and these crates and other warehouses down the bottom here all look like quite new areas and more the sort of areas that I think are better to fight in in PUBG rather than the sort of complicated weird buildings that were there before. Uh, so it looks like positive changes. It is right in the corner of the map, which makes me worry that maybe you won't see it happen. You won't see it in the circle so much. Places on the edges of the map tend to not really feature in the late zones too much. Maybe they've reworked the play zones a bit. I don't know. But um, there's certainly a lot of quite interesting stuff on the map on the periphery of the map. And that makes me a little bit concerned that you might not often see it in the late zones. So our next pin is over the lumber yard. This is sort of on the Midwest side of the map. You can see the lumber yard here looks really nice. Uh, quite a big area, lots of warehouses, lots of places to fight, lots of these wood piles that you've seen previously in Sanok has quite a lot of them. Uh, and some of these sort of two-story buildings here that it's almost reminiscent of Miramar-style buildings over there. Right in the center of the map, or just to the side, we have the train station, which looks like, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Terminal almost from Tago. Big, fairly central location. Could be a big hot drop in the middle of the map. Big central building, few warehouses around it, some crates, going to be a lot of loot there and a lot of opportunity to fight. Over on the east side of the map, we have the villa, which you won't see in this, but down slightly from it, we have Tricker, and this is the town Tricker. So it looks like a bit more interesting, I'd say, than some of the previous cities we had in Vikendi that were just massive blocks of houses. This is broken up a bit more into smaller clusters of buildings, warehouses, few more open areas between buildings, which I think looks like a bit more of an interesting place uh, to fight for me as a big open area down here like a frozen like an ice rink or some sort of I don't know sports thing or something probably an ice rink I guess uh, and quite a flat area with some coast just to the east of it down in the southwest we have Pavilka right on the coast here as the snow seems to have dissipated and it's become quite lush and vibrant uh, this has a lovely little working windmill few buildings nothing too excited down there but looks like an interesting coastal area and kind of almost looks more like something out of Erangel than uh, than Vikendi but with Vikendi style buildings Right down at the south of the map, we have this pin, which is on a bit of a hill just to the south of Decamesto and to the east of the winery. And this is our cable car starting point. So looks like this is where you can get on it. It looks very much like you can just climb onto that and it's going to take you around the map. Uh, I assume there's probably some other places where you can get onto this rather than just one central point. By the look of some of the stuff we saw earlier, I saw Wacky Jackie point out that there was an ascender featured in one of the previous images released, which would suggest that as well as having ascenders to climb up to certain spots, you may well have the reusable parachute potentially, which maybe you could be in the, the cable car and then you can jump out with your parachute or you can maybe parachute into the cable car or do some crazy stuff like that. So that's very exciting. Uh, and then down in the Southeast here, this view is from Kranich where we have this, uh, this lake down in the Southeast. And then you can see the mountain off to the side here. This is the mountain that is hiding what is whatever the comeback BR type thing hiding back there is. We'll call it comeback BR for now. It might be a little bit different. It might be exactly Exactly the same but that is that mountain with that hiding behind it in the southeast and then we have this big lake area here uh, which looks like a pretty cool area to fight be a very cool area to get a late zone if we did get late zones shifting to the edges of the map as we talked about earlier but another nice looking area looks like all the snow really is kind of to the north and the middle of the map and then as you get into the south you can see there's a little bit of snow there but on this south sort of line of the map at the bottom here there isn't really much snow we know that the snowmobile is going to be coming back we've seen lots of footage of that so that's going to be great we may see the snow bike come back as well but generally seems very interesting lots of positives to take from this it's a real big overhaul of the candy it's really completely remade essentially rather than just tweaked so that's great to see it makes it more exciting for me and i'm really looking forward to trying it out i'd be interested to hear your comments down below on what you think about the information released so far what you're looking forward to what you're not looking forward to and what you might hope to see in it so far so thanks very much for watching hope you found that video useful my name's ben we are the beard guys and i'll see you next time I just wanted to drop you all a quick message to tell you about our PUBG creator code. As a PUBG partner, we have a creator code which you can add to your account, which means whenever you purchase anything in game, PUBG will give us a commission. Whether you're buying season passes, G coin bundles, or anything else that requires cash in PUBG, if you have our code added, then you'll be helping us out without costing yourself a penny extra. It's a great way to support the channel and it really does help keep us making PUBG content for you. Plus, it's easy to set up and you'll only ever have to do it once. To add our code, first visit accounts.pubg.com and then log in 
in or create an account. Once you've logged in, connect your Xbox, PlayStation or Steam account on the linked accounts tab, then go to the creator appreciation program section and type the beard guys into the box or find us from the drop down list. Then just click submit and you're all done. A massive thank you to everybody who has used our code. Your support is absolutely vital for us and it really makes a huge difference.